Are you a poultry farmer, or you are looking forward to starting a poultry farm but you don't know? Raising chickens for eggs, or for meat which one can make more wealthy? This video was just designed for taking an assumption of 100 chickens. Okay, here let's begin with uh, raising chickens for eggs. When raising chickens for eggs, you need to understand a chicken will start to lay at a minimum of 18 weeks. When it's at your purpose, it will start laying at a minimum of 22 weeks. And it only starts laying at that age when you have done everything uh, according to how it was expected to be done. A chicken starts laying when it has already consumed a minimum of 10 kilograms of feeds. So when you get uh, 10 kilograms of feeds multiplied by uh, per kilo, the cost of per kilogram, uh, let's say let's take an example of 1,500 on the cost of the a kilogram. That will make that will make it when you multiply it with 10 kilogram a chicken has consumed. That will be adapt to 15,000 so 15,000 that is what the chicken will take from the day one up to uh, the maturity or up to when it has started laying so when you get uh, 15,000 uh, when then you that is for only feeds then you add some vaccines then you add a rubber uh, that will be maybe let's take let's say like uh, vaccines took 1,000 every chicken here we are making an assumption according to 100 chickens farm. So, and uh, maybe we say like a reba you was paying uh, 100,000 Ugandan shillings uh, to a worker, and then that is when you multiply with the five months, then maybe every chicken was taking 5,000. So, when you add, add up to that, for every chicken, we get an assumption of maybe up to. 21,000. So here I say that a chicken will start lay uh, will start laying when it has consumed or when you have spent on it approximately 30,000 in Ugandan currency. Then I say that when you have uh, 30, when every chicken is taking 30,000 in Ugandan currency and you want to start a project of 100, it means that uh, when you have 3 million Ugandan shillings, you can be able to start a project of 100 chickens so meaning if you have 3 million you can be able to raise chickens I, th I think you have to say that and this cost uh, does not uh, include the structure the land electricity and water so it means that when you have this cost and you, you want to raise when you have 3 million you got any currency and you want to raise uh, 100 chickens uh, the cost I have included here does not include uh, structure you have to be having the structure you need to be having uh, the rent you need to be having the, the you need to be having the electricity you need to be having water uh, then layer chicken usually gives uh, approximately uh, oh, uh, approximately 90 eggs per day you know when they 100 chickens they usually give you close to 90 eggs 10 of them would mislay meaning that those are three trays because here in uganda the trays we use uh most of the times consist of 30 eggs meaning that uh meaning that uh, the chicken uh, is able to get uh, or you are able to collect three trays a, a day so when you multiply by 30 days that are in the months it means that in a month you will be collecting 90 trays, 90 trays of eggs in a month. So when you get at the cost aware of how we sell the eggs here in Uganda, a layer tray goes to 10,000 in Ugandan currency, meaning that uh, 90 trays uh, multiplied by 10,000, you'll be collecting 900,000, 900,000 uh, in Ugandan shillings. So. So it means that in 90, uh, in 100 chickens, you'll be collecting uh, or you'll be getting a gross profit of 900 
southern in Ugandan currency. But now, someone cannot come and say that you may, you'll be making 900 Ugandan currency in 100 chickens. That is a lie, because that is a gross, a gross profit. Uh, the money you make is a, what you call a net profit. So here we have the net profit. So to get a net profit, you get the amount of the feeds or the total expenditure. Then you subtract the total cost. I mean, you get the total exp uh, uh, the gross profit. Then you subtract uh, the total expenditure, meaning that uh, you will get you first get the amount of the feeds that the chicken takes, so that you get the money or you get the expenditure. A chicken, the mature chicken that is on the point of lay or that is starts laying, consumes 120 grams of the feed every day. When you multiply it with 100 chickens, it means that you will get uh, uh, 12,000 grams per day. So it means that you'll be, you'll be feeding 12,000 grams of feed per day in 100 uh, chickens. Then if you want to get kilograms, then you'll get one uh, 12,000 uh, grams, then you divide it with uh 1000 because 1000 grams uh, 1000 grams is equivalent to one kilogram so there you get 12 kilograms so you'll be feeding 12 kilograms per day in 100 kil in 100 chickens so then uh those 12 kilograms you're feeding every day you will multiply it with uh 30 days to get the total cost of the month so here you will get 360 kilograms of feeds which you'll be feeding in a month then to get the amount of the money you have spent on the feeds in a month you will get 360 kilograms then you multiply it with the cost of the feed which here i take as 1500 in ugandan currency then uh, you'll be able to get 540 000 in ugandan currency meaning that uh, you'll be spending uh 540 thousand in Ugandan currency as the total expenditure on feeds then here you will get the here that is when we are going to calculate because we have already known how we how much we spend on feeds in a month so we can be able to get uh, the net profit so the net profit will be will be equivalent to the gross profit minus the total expenditure as i already told you the gross profit we have is 900 Ugandan currency and the total expenditure we have is 540 is 540 thousand in Ugandan currency then we shall get 900 and 900 thousand subtract or minus uh 540 thousand uh here we shall get a net profit of uh 360 thousand uh, uh as a net profit in a Ugandan currency so it means that if you have the layers maybe we have a uh, 100 layers a project you'll be making uh 360 uh 360 000, uh when you are in uganda uh, now let's see if you are raising chickens for meat broilers take only six weeks to reach the maturity but you can only achieve this if you are doing everything correctly broilers consume close or minimum of two kilograms up the point of maturity or up the point of the slaughter. Broilers feed, uh, broilers feed go to 2,000 or to 2,300 due to its high proportion of protein in it. Meaning that, uh, meaning that uh, the price of the uh, feed in the layers was at 1,500. But here in the broilers, it goes to 2,000, even beyond 2,000, up to 2,300. Then, uh, to get uh, the amount which a broiler can or can consume uh, during its lifetime or during uh, the time when you have brought it on the farm, up the time when you're going to slaughter it, you will get two kilograms, which a broiler chicken it takes uh, from the time of the, when you have brought it on the farm, up the point of the maturity, or up to six weeks, that is 2,000. So you get 2,000, you might pay it by the cost of each feed or, or each kilogram, which is 2,300, which is 2,300. Then you will get a total of 4,600,000. Uh, so it means that uh, when you bring a breeder on the farm, it will just consume 4,600 uh, shearing. Then uh, to get the total cost which a broiler will take when it is on your farm, you will get the amount of the feed that it will take 
then you add up to a vaccine that it will take then you also add labor as we did on the layers section then uh, we have already seen that a broiler will take 4600 uh, 4600 ugandan shillings then when you go to the vaccine broilers will do not take a lot of vaccines compared to layers because a broiler can only take two to three vaccines when it has it is on the layer when uh, when it is on the farm then here we say here we take the vaccines maybe uh, to me when i was creating this video i took an assumption of maybe it yeah it was take it it is going to take two vaccines newcastle plus ib then and gumboro then here then we took an example of 100 as we did to the rare section then here i found out that uh, or every chicken every chicken can take up to 500 uh shilling so, uh, on a vaccine then reba it will take 2000 because i calculated only two months because a broiler takes no more than two months on your farm meaning that a broiler uh, or a reba when a, a worker is being paid 100,000 every month he will pay you pay him 200,000 in two months then on uh, when i calculated that labor per chicken i found out that every chicken will have been uh, used 2000 on rubber so when i you add up 4600 of feed plus 500 of vaccine plus 2000 of rubber every chicken will have consumed 700 uh, i mean 7100 ugandan shillings on your farm then here we say that uh how much now are you going to sell that chicken uh, here in uganda uh a broiler chicken does not go beyond uh ten thousand on a farm price or on a farm gate price so we say that in uganda uh you uh you will be able to sell your chickens at ten thousand so let's say that now let's see how much you have spent on on 100 layer or, or i mean 100 broilers so you will get 700 one uh, 7100 which one chicken has consumed then you multiply with 100 chickens on the farm you here you will get 710,000 in your currency so as i told you a farm market price is 10,000 for every 100 chickens so it means that when you sell all 100 chickens you'll be able to get one million in Ugandan currency so as i told you uh, i cannot say that in 100 uh, uh uh broilers you will be able to sell and get 1 million that is a total lie because that is what we call a gross profit and a gross profit is the all the amount of the money you have sold so but now that is not a profit because you have been spending something so uh, the amount of all the profit you get we call it we call it as a net profit so to get a net profit you will get a, a gross profit you subtract or you deduct uh, the expenditure so the expenditure here we have uh, we, we have what we have spent on the farm and the gross profit is what we have sold out of the farm so we get what we have sold out of the farm we subtract what we have been spending on the farm to get the net profit or what or the amount of the money we have been able to make so here you get 1 million which you have as a gross profit minus 710,000 as the expenditure or has the amount of the money we have been spending on the farm here you will get a 200 290,000 as a net profit so in broilers you were able to make 900 i mean 2000 uh 290,000 290,000 as a net profit and i think here you understand which one is more profitable than another layers or raising chickens for eggs is more profitable but they require a lot of patience a lot of knowledge a lot of technical know-how and a lot of startup capital uh, Boilers has less profit but they are easy to start and they take a short period of time to return on investment so you uh you as a subscriber of formos abraham uh, which one do you think that it can work for you let me know in the comment box below thank you so much for watching this video and come back to watch the next video where we shall be 
telling you on how you can market your poultry farm so that you make all this money as we are appreciating today thank you so much for watching see you soon in the next episode okay let's go